who it is and true it is. True it is and who it is. Who it is and true it is. It's the eagle with the greatness. And I'm back on the tube. Here to say, here to, for this message, manifestation on site. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Manifestation on site. Sometimes we begin to manifest things that isn't there. I could give you an example. You could say, it's mostly could be used in some things, it's prophetic, but you could say, it's, a ba it's bad people in the world. Now, you do not know if it's bad people in the world. And this could be prophetic. But you just got this feeling in your spirit that it's bad people in the world because this spirit, this there's something that's saying to you in this in your spirit, and it could be true that what's coming down the line, you could be feeling what is down the line. Then you got a financial profit manifestation is you could be saying it's bad people in the world. But you just want to do a message on what is bad, why bad people is in the world. But you have no clear context, context, <clears throat> clear context. I have to start saying my words clearly. Clear context on if it's bad people or not. It's just this feeling that's buzzing in you or you want to speak that for a financial profit. Now. You can be speaking in the prophetic realm, on the spiritual realm, that you just going off this, this anointing that God has given you, and you just speaking on it real clearly. And whatever is whatever is buzzing, sometimes people going to speak down on the truth. Just because what they talking about is now buzzing and it's getting, it's getting, it's got, they have the attention of the masses that they want to have. So they speaking down on what, what you have said or what you know is the truth and they want to watch it. But then they want to come back and bring it back around as in that's why they told you this reason. A lot of people do that. A lot of people that you might see on TV do that on YouTube. You might do that. Always remain. Keep things what you want to ma manifest into reality. Words are powerful and thoughts are powerful. So be careful on what you want to manifest. Be careful on what you want to manifest because it just might come. Always speak positive into the atmosphere so you can get that positivity back. For amount of equal exchange. People. Lifestyle. They get it. They promote a certain lifestyle that they live in. Because they want it paraded around the world. They want it to be the center of the universe. But actuality. They know it's not the truth. Because they just want what they want in the atmosphere. And they want things to spin to their opinion. To their narrative. They want to speak things for their narrative. To get, uh, to get shock value. So they push it. And they want to push the truth out. And make you trip and make you go on the ego trip and make you start um, tripping and stuff and make you start losing your mind and freaking out about some things that they know that's not true. So what you got to do, you got to feed your mind of what you want to manifest in your reality. And if they got some valuable stuff to them, you pay attention to that. You don't listen to whatever weirdo stuff they talking about, whatever idiotic thought that they in their mind, because they just as idiotic as the people they as as the uh as the thoughts as they thinking and they trying to make people idiotic like them that's what they trying to do they trying to make people idiotic like them so what you do you get some positive things in your mind then you free you go on youtube or whatever or on the internet and feed your stuff feed your mind with th things that are mentally nutritious you got to you got to uh find brain nutrition it's just not food. It's just certain knowledge. If you need nutritious, nutrition, nutritional info, nutritious information. That's what you need. Nutritious information. And when you get in nutrition information, you share that. You share that. You don't hold that nutrition information back because 
you getting what you want. You have to share that. You you are um you are supposed to do that. You are supposed to share what you have learned. And when you share what you have learned, you better the population of people who you are around. You have to understand that we need our brain needs to be fed certain things every day and our ears need to hear certain things every day we have to have certain things to feed our minds we have to focus on the right thing sometimes you got to turn off the tv sometimes you even got to turn off the youtube to reprogram your mind the way it should be programmed instead of allowing people to program the, my, your mind the way they want it to be. So always be careful what you put in your eyes or what you let come through your ears because it could affect you mentally. Now, we could also manifest things that are good. You know, like, oh, I want to get a good job. It's not there yet, but you just having faith on this one thing that might happen, but you speaking it. Keep those manifestations and positive manifestations that make you better. If you're not, if you're not feeding yourself, you're doing a disservice to yourself. If you're not feeding yourself with the correct things, you are doing a disservice to yourself because you're not taking care of yourself as a person to be a be a use or a true purposeful. Your purpose is not to be foolish in this lifetime. Your purpose is to always do something positive for others and not always to take the credit for it. Again, your job in life is to do something positive for others and not always take the credit for it. Sometimes you got to let people speak what you have done and to speak speak on what you have done cuz then sometimes it it gives you just it shows you that you are a humble person. And humility is important in this world. You never want to be too arrogant that you can't um, learn from nobody else. Because that's when you fall. And that's when your works die off. And then somebody else come up. So always watch what you manifest into reality. Always do that. Because you don't know what you manifest in. That could be a destruction to you later on. It's not always about what's going on now. It's about what's going on in the future. And we need to understand that we are pushing stuff for the future. We need to also learn how to uplift one another. Because if we uplift one another, we able to build something better. And we able to become something better. We be able to become a, a stronger force once we able to put all the nonsense to the side. So I'm going to leave you with that video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on at follow me at Kyle Calloway on Instagram and Kyle Calloway on Facebook.